Assalam o Alaikum uh, dear viewers welcome to my new lecture in this lecture uh, we will talk about depressions which is nowadays very common problem uh, that is seen in society so uh, let's take a start uh, depression uh, you know better uh, depressions this is the content you can see so I'm going to uh, introduce about uh, depressions its definition types of depression epidemiology etiology pathophysiology clinical manifestation diagnosis investigations treatment conclusion and diagnosis so first of all how we will define depression so depression as in affective disorders there is mental illness characterized by the pathological changes in mood or depression is pathologically depressed mood. So, whenever a person becomes pathologically and depressed moods or whenever there is changes occurs uh, especially the uh, which is characterized by the pathological changes in mood. Uh, according to a World Health Organization WHO the common depression is a common mental disorder they present with depressed mood, loss of interest or pleasures, feelings of guilt or low self-worth, disturbed sleep or appetite, low energy and poor concentration. In this uh, definition, uh, we will cover all the areas uh, related to depressions, which is uh, already uh, for example, a person who is in depressed mood and that person uh, become larger, he, he can lose interest in any kind of activity and feeling of guilt and low self worth. Types of depression. So, types uh, of depression uh, can be uh, divided into different categories. So, the first one is major depressive disorders. Major depressive disorder is the uh, recurrence of long episodes of low mood or one extended episode that seems to be never ending. So, it is further classified into different categories. So, the first one is atypical depression while postpartum depression and catatonic depression, seasonal affective disorder and melancholic depressions. Manic depressions is also called bipolar disorder. So, bipolar disorder, there are four episodes of bipolar disorders and depressive episodes or manic episodes, hypomanic episodes and mixed mood states. So, it comes under the category of bipolar disorders. Another one is uh, dysthymic depression. So, in dysthymic depression, uh, it lost a long time but involve less severe symptoms while dystonic depressions at lead a normal life but we may not be functioning so well or feeling good. One is situational depressions in which uh, uh, some time the persons become depressed uh, especially uh, the conditions or the situations which are involved. The another one is psychotic depressions while endogenous depression. So, these are the different type of depressions. Now, come toward the epidemiology of depression. So, globally more than 350 million people of all the ages suffer from depressions according to WHO for the age group between 400 400 major depression and is the leading cause of disability in US. Women are nearly twice as likely to suffer from a major depressive disorder than men. They are with the age of symptoms. The symptom of depression become even more severe. So, about 30 percent of the people with depressive illness attempt suicides. This is the epidemiology. So, almost 350 million people. So, they are affected or they are suffers from depressions. Now, what are the clinical causes or etiology of depressions? The first one is genetic cause. So, it may, there may be uh, sometimes genetic variations which are also involved. Uh, one is environmental factor and another one is biochemical factors. So, biochemical factors uh, or biochemical theory of depression postulates uh, a deficiency of neurotransmitter and certain areas of brain like noradrenaline, serotonin and 
डोपामिन और डोपामिनर्जिक एक्टिविटी दिस एक्टिविटी इज रिड्यूस इन केस ऑफ डिप्रेशन वाइल इन केस ऑफ मैनिया द डोपामिनर्जिक एक्टिविटी एनहॉन्स एनदर फैक्टर इज इंडोक्राइन फैक्टर सो इंडोक्राइन फैक्टर इज हाइपोथाइरडिजम uh and with the thyroid uh, glands and with the thyroid gland secrete uh, low quantity of uh, <coughs> hormones that is thyroid hormones uh in case of cushing syndrome so this is also the main etiological factors abuse of drugs or alcohol or you can say hormone level changes in physical illness and side effect of medication so the drug include analgesics antidepressants antihypertensive anti convulsant benzodiazepine withdrawal and antipsychotics all these are the drugs which are involved here physical illness so in physical illness for example in case of viral illness or carcinoma neurological disorder uh, thyroid disease and multiple sclerosis pernicious anemia diabetes systemic lupus erythematosus and edison disease so it come under the category of physical illness so for example if a patient who is suffering from these multiple condition which i have mentioned here so uh, in case of physical illness the patients can be directly suffering from depressions uh, now come to world of pathophysiology for depression so in pathophysiology of depression uh, there are some factors which are involved the first one is the biogenic i mean hypothesis hypothesis while the second one is the receptor sensitivity hypothesis and the serotonin only hypothesis permissive hypothesis neutralite membrane hypothesis and neuro and grind hypothesis this is the pathophysiology that how this disease is caused how this disease through which mechanism this disease is produced the biogenic amine hypothesis in this case and biogenic amine hypothesis it is caused by the deficiency of monoamines particularly non adrenaline and serotonin so it become deficient and the patient becomes suffering from biogenic amine hypothesis so it cannot explain the delay in the time of onset of clinical relief of depression up up to 6 to 8 weeks while the second one is the receptor sensitivity hypothesis so and receptor sensitivity hypothesis the depression is the result of pathological alteration sensitivity super sensitivity and up regulation and receptor sites tca tricyclic antidepressants or monoamine oxidase inhibitor so it cause desensitization the uncoupling of receptor sites and possibly down regulation a decrease in the number of receptor sites so as we know that uh, we are uh, using uh, different type of drugs uh, like uh, floxetine doloxetine or tricyclic antidepressant citalopram escitalopram so monoamine oxidase inhibitor it causes desensitizations this is also one of the reason and in another case the serotonin only hypothesis it uh, emphasizes the role of serotonin and depression and down flan or adrenaline but the serotonin only theory has shortcomings so you can see here it doesn't explain that why there is a delay in onset of clinical relief while it doesn't explain the role of noradrenaline and depression so these are the shortcomings especially in serotonin serotonin only hypothesis Uh, and pharmacy hypothesis the control of emotional behavior results from a balance between noradrenaline and serotonin if the serotonin and noradrenaline falls to abnormally low level so the patient become depressed if the level of serotonin falls and the levels of noradrenaline become abnormally high so the patient become manic so we can easily differentiate between depression and mania which i have already discussed that for example let's suppose in case of low level of serotonin or noradrenaline level it become low or fall abnormally low level so then the person become depressed while if the serotonin falls and the level of the noradrenaline become abnormally high so in that conditions the patient become manic or you can say that is mania conditions electrolytes membrane hypothesis so in this case hypocalcemia may be associated with the mania 
uh, in case of decrease the uh, calcium levels so in the uh, body while in hypercalcemia is also associated with depressions these are the two terms uh, <coughs> in case of uh, uh, neuroendocrine hypothesis this is pathological mood states are explained or contributed to by alter the endocrine functions uh, now come toward the clinical manifestation. So in clinical manifestation, depression, uh, thinking as pessimistic and some cases suicidal. While in severe cases, psychotic symptoms uh, such as hallucinations or delusions may be present. Insomnia or hypersomnia, uh, uh, libido, so the sexual desires of the person is lost. Weight loss is occurring, loss of appetite. While the intellectual and cognitive symptoms include a decreased ability to concentrate and slow thinking and a poor memory of for recent events so let's see here uh, in this uh, uh, chart you can see this is the clinical manifestation of depression uh, and situationals uh, you can say there is loss isolation conflict and stress can be are reported while uh, in thoughts negative thinking habits uh, harsh uh, self-criticism and unfair and unrealistic thoughts emotions uh, uh, physical state actions and situations and emotion the uh, discouragements or sadness irritability anger numbness anxiety uh, and physical state you can mm, see here uh, there is uh, alterations or changes in the sleep pattern a low energy fatigue agitation may be occur and change in the brain chemistry while in action the social withdrawal reduce activity level and poor self-care uh, now come toward the uh, diagnosis for the uh, depressions so you know I should retain diagnosis criteria for the depressive episode who so WHO uh, usual symptoms uh, these are uh, the person is in depressed mood there is loss of interest and enjoyment reduce energy leading to increase uh, fatigability and diminish activities the common symptoms uh, which are reported uh, uh, by depressive patients so uh, the common symptoms are there may be a reduction in the concentration and retention the person cannot focus a single area in attention and uh, the, uh, there may be uh, a reductions in self-esteem and self-confidence ideas of the guilt and outworthiness bleak and pessimistic views of the features futures ideas or acts of self-harm are sometimes suicides can be happen. sleep can be disturbed and diminish appetite in case of mild depressive episodes for at least two weeks at least two of the usual symptoms of depressive episode plus at least two common symptoms and moderate depressive episodes for at least two weeks at least two or three of the uh, usual uh, symptoms of a uh, depressive episode plus at least three of the common symptoms and severe depressive episodes for at least two weeks all three of the usual symptom of the depression episode plus at least four of the common symptom uh, you can say some of which should be severe intensely uh, in investigation the writing skills can be determined so big depression inventory and uh, Hamilton depression writing skills are used so dexamethasone suppression test that is also usually performed for depression uh, inshallah um, in my next lecture so I will talk about the uh, pharmacotherapy or the treatment protocol for depression thank you so much uh, dear viewers for watching my lectures so if you have any question um, regarding my lecture so I'm always available for your services Thank you.